Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Firefox version 118 has just landed and started rolling out about an hour ago today on the 26th of September 2023. Now to double check that you have this latest version upgrade, we head to our main menu, click on help, click on about Firefox and the latest version in bold 118.0. Now, this latest release includes five new features. We also get the various security fixes that have rolled out, and they do roll out with every major version upgrade. And then we get some enterprise and developer under the hood treatments that have also been added in this latest stable release. Now, first of all, focusing on the new features, and I would consider the first to be the key highlight, and I have actually posted on this uh, previously, where uh, Mozilla now is rolling out native translate and translation now in Firefox version 118. So basically what this means up until this stage is that you had to use and install extensions in the stable version of Firefox to translate websites and web pages and this is now no longer the case. So as Mozilla says in the release notes, automated translation of web contents is now available to Firefox users and basically the difference between this native translation compared to, um, say, Google Translate, as an example, is that Google Translate will use third-party servers, where, um, unlike cloud-based alternatives, Mozilla says translation is done locally in Firefox so that, the, so that the text being translated does not leave your machine. So basically, um, there's a little bit more of a, a privacy improvement, according to Mozilla, with their native translation compared to other web browsers and their translation features. Now, this is the example that um, rolled out after upgrading to version 118. So yeah, you'll see in the top right of the address bar, you get translate this page. And currently it's still in beta, but they have decided to start pushing the feature out. And you can translate from and translate to, and you can select your different languages. And if we click on translate, that'll take a second or two. And there we go, that's translated from Spanish to English. And if we head back to the translation feature, uh, you will see here, if we click on this gear icon, the actual settings, we get a couple of other options available. So the first is always offer to translate, always translate from that language, never translate that language, and never translate the site. And then if we click on this, that takes us into the actual settings where we get to the language settings. And something else that is also available is you can install languages for offline translation. So you don't even need to be connected to the internet. If you download one of these offline translation packs, you'll be able to translate even while offline. But just take note, and as we can see, um, there is a limited amount of um, languages that are available for the offline translation. But um, I'm sure Mozilla will increase these in future updates. So um, native translation or automated translation, as Mozilla is calling it, is now available in version 118. Now, moving on, um, we get two fingerprint protection improvements that have rolled out in this latest release. And the first is Web Audio in Firefox now uses the FDLRBM math library on all systems to improve anonymity with fingerprint protection. Now, that's quite a mouthful. But basically, uh, the long and the short of that is that it improves anonymity according to Mozilla when it comes to fingerprinting. So all you need to know is that's basically a security and a privacy enhancement. And the next fingerprint uh, protection enhancement is um, if we head over to our new private window, Mozilla says the visibility of fonts to websites has been restricted to system fonts and language pack fonts to mitigate font fingerprinting in private browsing windows. So that's just another privacy and security feature now. As mentioned, two fingerprinting protection improvements now that have rolled out in version 118. And moving on to the fourth new feature, um, if you do use Google Meet um, in Firefox, video effects and background blur are now available to Firefox users on Google Meet, says Mozilla from those release notes. And then the fifth and final new feature is Firefox suggest users, and this is only available at this stage though to um, users in the US, the United States. So Firefox suggest users will now be able to see browser add-on suggestions right in the address bar based on their keywords. Now I can't show you that because obviously I'm not in the US, but 
it's only available in the US at this time, but we hope that obviously Mozilla expands that in future updates. Now that's the new features out of the way. As mentioned, five new features. And if we just head back quickly to um, the release notes, if we click on what's new, and we just head down to those various security fixes that have rolled out. Here we get nine security vulnerabilities that have been patched in version 118. And out of these nine security issues that have been addressed, six, so uh, um, almost three quarters of these, two thirds, six of these um, are high impact. So the majority of these um, security issues that have been addressed are high impact. So that's the second highest after critical. So even if you're not interested in those new features, as I always suggest, just double check um, your browser's up to date. It doesn't take very long and um, these security issues, including those six high impact vulnerabilities, will be addressed now in version 118. And that's more or less, guys, what's new in this latest release um, of Firefox. And um, there are a couple of, as mentioned, uh, uh, developer and enterprise improvements that are taking place under the hood, but those won't be really of interest to your average home user. So as mentioned, native translate now available. And I would consider that to be the key highlight for version 118 over and above those all important security fixes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.